Hello once again. Um, what I'm going to do today for you is I'm actually going to give you a quick little review on something another group of people are doing. Um, those of you who are paying attention to a blog uh, called droidlife.com, they are actually ripping uh, piece by piece off of the Nexus 1 um, and porting those Android 2.0 components over to the Motorola Droid running 2.0.1. Um, I'm going to show you those actually. First up is the actual launcher application. I'm, uh, the really nice thing about this, as you can see, you now have five home screens versus just the standard three. Um, you also have a new actual look to the home screen icons as well as a new feature well a you can tab through it kind of, kind of almost like on the uh, the droid Eris with the trackball you can t use the trackball to kind of tab through things um, one of the really things that I like about it is if you hold down on the buttons you have the five screens all right there so you can get a quick glimpse and just quickly zoom over to it so I think I think that's a pretty cool little feature um, the other, or one of the other apps that they offer is the new music player app, which, um, as you can see, I mean, it's not anything super, super different. The biggest thing is, you now have this music player button, the actual, actual, what, you know, now playing button, essentially, at the bottom of every screen, as well as the, uh, quick album, artist, song, playlist tabs. <laughs> Um, other than that, it's it's pretty pretty much the same as the old version. Um, the other update is the Flan Gallery or Froyo. I'm not sure which they're actually going with. I've heard conflicting things, but it's a nice new 3D gallery. Um, it'll actually show you all of your pictures in 3D as well as. And in different categories too, like I have apps from my backgrounds, from FX camera, um, apps that I've downloaded right off of, you know, some websites, um, apps that I've edited on Pixay, uh, my flicks, ones that I've downloaded from uh, SMS, and it will actually show you all of them in, in a really cool kind of you know, a 3D user interface that you can actually group individually, like I have it now, or with the flick of a button, group kinda, you know, kinda organize by date. Um, going back real quick to the actual launch screen, um, with this new launcher it's not so much anymore an actual drawer, it's, you know, the actual an actual button, and you have a nice kinda infinite 3D view, Probably should have mentioned that earlier, but it is actually pretty cool. Um, the other components is the new um, the new do the new uh, dock mode essentially um, for when you actually put it into your uh, your handy dandy little charging mount. You pop it right in there. It will automatically flip over, and you have the new. Um, the new clock app. Um, just like in the video Droid Live put out, the one thing I do not understand is why they show it in Celsius on the main screen, but when you actually click on it, it shows it in Fahrenheit. Not sure what's going on there. Um, this clock app actually does to, to work the right way, just like they say, just like they say it does require both the Flan Gallery um, to kind of do its slideshow mode as well as this handy dandy little widget that they've recently ripped and that is the genie news and weather widget which I actually like quite a bit uh, I don't know what app I'm pulling up and that's the one thing I have just gotten some kind of random lockups when I've come in and out of app some applications uh, nothing too major, definitely. I mean, that obviously wasn't designed for the Droid. It was designed for the Nexus One, but just a couple lockups. That's actually the most frequent I've ever got them. Who would figure? 
So there we go. The other new widget that they've added is the News and Genie widget. Um, the new, the new, rather News Genie. Um, it's a news and weather widget. It'll give you your weather. You can um, bring up custom headlines and pull up custom, you know, whatever news article they show. Kind of a nice little quick news reader. Um, definitely something that I, I actually have been using quite a bit. So it's actually pretty cool. All in all, um, all, all in all, I mean, everything works the way it's supposed to. Um, it, it looks really cool, and I've actually made quite a few people at work jealous because of this. Um, that's, about, that's about it. Um, one thing that I do also want to quickly put out to those of you uh, who use beautiful widgets, I just want to praise this app a little bit more. Uh, they were taken off the Android market. I got a few questions about that. In some of my other videos, they were taken off the Android market because of HTC's uh, complaint saying it looked too much like their Sense UI. Uh, they came back with a style, and the one thing that I really, really, really like about this 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 just shows how th this is how Android should be. This is how Android was designed. You know, Level Up Studios took a brilliant idea, and you know they, they took their idea and allowed people to make their idea better. Um, they basically took their beautiful widgets app, which it, it is a paid app, you know, buck fifty, something like that, in the Android market. They took a great idea, idea, a great application, and allowed other people to improve upon it. Um, allowed other people to add their own little flares. Um, and do a couple extra little things with it. So I like that quite a bit. Um, you know, I only have a couple s s skins installed in here, but they basically let people reskin it. Um, there's uh, probably close to a dozen actual skins uh, set up to it. Maybe a little bit. Maybe actually probably closer to two. Actually, two dozen, and it works. It's it's very nice, um, and th this is what the Android development community should be all about that's it for today um, check it out and uh, screw the Nexus 1 droid is still the way to go see ya